Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking for Dogs. This week we're out of the kitchen and into the local park. An exciting event for dogs was advertised in my local newspaper. The first ever dog style market for dogs. Promises such as feasting on dog friendly ice cream and de-stressing with a massage. We knew that Ruby would love to join us on our excursion. We also knew that Ruby's human family, Cliffy, Laura and Charlotte, would love to join in the fun. So after a phone call or two, we were off. The advertisement said dog owners are set to go barking mad over this pause at the park market. Well, let's see what we can find. We love to support our local dog community and events. And this event featured more than 20 different stalls from small, locally run businesses. There was a festive atmosphere and dogs of all shapes and sizes were there. I sell signs as well. That's pig. <laughs> First stop of the day was the doggy ice cream stall. We all know dogs are lactose intolerant and they must have their own ice cream. This way I didn't have to make it and I knew it would be safe for my dogs to eat. Roland's favourite ice cream flavour is frozen whipped banana with natural yoghurt. It was a super hot sunny day and this ice cream was lapped up by several lucky dogs. Um, then it was I'm time to visit awesome. some of the stall owners and cute. see what was on sale. So these are just like little signs and all they're magnets. While Roland's personality is one of a kind, sit, sit, toy poodles sit. are toy poodles Roll, and they sit, can sit. look very sit alike. There. Sit, sit. Roland. Socialising our dogs is so very important for humans and dogs alike. And it's great to talk with some of the dog owners and hear the stories about their own dogs. So what is he again? Tell me again. Irish Wolf Pound and Bull Arab Cross. Irish. You can see the Bull Arab in the eyes, eh? Mm. No. And what's his personality like? Uh, big candy. You're a big Complete baby! Oh, you're a big baby! This stunning standard white poodle was definitely the doggy fashionista of the day. And if you want your coat to look this beautiful all the time, it helps to have mum as a professional groomer. Here we can see the difference in size between the standard poodle and the poodle. From Cavalier King Charles Spaniels to Pomeranians and Poodles, Labradors, they were all there with one thought in mind. To have fun and enjoy themselves. From Ruby the lovable chocolate lab to the boxer breed. What's not to love about this friendly face? The boxers are so full of fun, they're very lively and loyal and they have this puppy-like behaviour throughout their lives. Now we know Labradors are water dogs and it didn't take long for Ruby to find some. It looked like a grass paddock to me until I looked closer. Charlotte found some pine cones and soon there was a game of fetch and throw. Loving it, Ruby. Look at this little guy. But Ruby wasn't the only dog in the group that had discovered her own cooling watering hole. Check out this cute little dude, a Boston Terrier. He looks like a little warthog. What happened to you? I spilled blood on him. Oh, how nice. She goes, I'm so cool. This Samoid has the most beautiful white coat. From the Samoid breed dog comes the German Spitz and the Japanese Spitz type dog like Oscar. And then from the Spitz breed, they bred right down to the little tiny Pomeranian. You may know Boo the internet sensation, just like him. And speaking of Pomeranians, who should we meet next but the cutest little Pomeranian in town named Spencer. Yo, 
Did you do it yourself? Yeah, I'm a dog groomer. Oh, oh, yeah. I had some fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holding on. Hold on, hold on. Don't hold drop on. it. That's really cute. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> it's like... Mr Smith's breed, the Labradoodle, is a cross between a standard poodle and a Labrador. You can see here that he stands much taller than Ruby the Labrador. Next we met this cute little guy called Ziggy. He's a Shizu, which is another toy breed type of dog. She's such a poser. You're a poodle. Yes, poodles are poser. Yes. Oh, and you're so pretty. You're so pretty. And you've got the lovely do. I call um, Roland's a pro. I keep his hair in a fro. Yeah. Oh. We call her Boffy. Is this is her Boffy? Little Boffy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ziggy. Oh, Ziggy. 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 Look at you. I think these guys are the cheekiest thing. A friend of mine had one and she called him Chico. And I'm like, oh, that yeah. is the best thing. That's they perfect. just look cheeky. That's perfect. Yeah, we were saying yeah. <laughs> something aloof. <laughs> Very cute. The first toy poodle I ever owned was a jet black puppy just like this one called Jazzy. Meet Jet, the cutest little jet black poodle you're ever going to see. I just love the big lollopy welcome of a lovable lad. Hey Ruby. There goes Wigglebutt Ruby with her Labrador waddle. Next along the path, we meet up with a couple of gorgeous schnauzers. As I talk to the owners, I hear that Oscar, the schnauzer, is wearing an orange scarf that says I'm blind because Oscar is a blind dog. Oscar, take it easy, buddy. This one's blind, so... Yeah, sometimes other dogs, you bump into them and they take it from home. Yeah. He's a beautiful boy. Oh, look at Good you deal, guys. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Are you gorgeous? Are you? What about you? Are you in pink? I'm going out for you. What are their names? Now this dog's blind, so if your dogs are reacting, it's probably because he's sniffing them, not knowing where they are. Yeah, he kind of bumps into them, and they're like, "What are you doing?" I love this dog. Look at this dog. So Chanel is the purple, and the little pink part.
This is a great place for rescue organisations to bring their dogs along for adoption. She's, she's available from, where from? Um, Gumtree Grays. Gumtree Grays? Yes. And they're, they've got a website. Greyhounds are the most loving, gracious creatures and they are in desperate need to be rescued once their racing life is over. And what's her name? This is Cozzy, C-O-Z-Z-I-E. Cozzy, you're a pretty blue grey. Oh, thank you. And this and is Sebi, who's also four years old. What was the name? Sebi. As in Sebastian. Oh, you're lovely. You want to go? Or yes, you are. Well, that's your As I say, they have to go together. I understand, and so they should. Actually, it looks a little bit too like um, uh, Irish food. Reminds me of the red setup. Yes. Yeah. Set mm. Yeah, Brie? It was the end of a lovely day. We'd all made new friends and contacts, and it was time to head home. Thanks for watching our video today. If you liked it, please share it with other dog loving friends. We'd love you to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button, like us on Facebook, and Come along and have a look at my new dog blog site called cookingfordogs.com where you'll find lots of yummy recipes and different homemade foods and crafts for your dog. Thanks for watching and bon appetit.